Good day to you, viewer, and welcome to Star Wars Rogue. Which is a amazing title, isn't it? It has the genre in the title. Woo! This is a game by Arkane Games, and um, you may have guessed already that it's actually a rogue-like game. Um, namely, it's a rogue light. At least it's, that's how it's advertised. Now, Arkane Games are uh, people who made the Last Federation. Uh, which is something I enjoyed playing and reviewing uh, on this very channel. Uh, it had its own faults, but it was a very interesting approach to strategy genre. Um, a lot of uh, reliance on diplomacy, um, cool general concept of like people trying to or different races trying to become uh, space firing, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, this is a bit less original um, because it's very much a uh, Binding of Isaac clone, but in space. Uh, and most people seem to have zero problem with this, uh, as far as uh, the Steam reviews are concerned. Everyone seems to be very happy. And uh, it's not necessarily a terrible thing that something is a clone of something else, um, I think. It's, there, there is disadvantages to that, but also, you know, if it works and somehow improves on the idea, yeah, I mean, you know. That's that's a thing. Uh, this also has a sort of a nice and interesting general world building thing where like this you, the action's happening on a ship that is stuck into a sun it's a giant spaceship stuck in a well in a star anyway um as you can see on your screen so let's go and uh, press any button um let's start with from the very beginning so it's very much if you ever played isaac or you've seen someone's like video of them playing isaac you'd immediately recognize like what's going on here can i actually continue i thought i died last time let's just start a new run so you, you can uh, choose from six uh, robots, and uh, it's very much a top-down um, approach. It's, 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 there's no isometric, it's just directly top-down. All the mechs, one of them, and they contain the head of the Hydral from the Lost Federation game, so it's happening in the same universe, and the Hydral is, for some reason, donating its heads. Well, I guess they're getting, they're getting paid for it, um, to try and rescue an AI from the ship. And I, I assume there's a twist at the end, but yeah, you're somehow, for some reason, rescuing an AI. Um, let's play with uh, Flame Tank, because they're kind of cool. I'll probably show you like two mechs, I'm not going to go through all six of them. There's a there's a difficulty level here, uh, it explains what the difference between the mechs is. It, uh, you can see that uh, the, their stats change uh, lower here if, if we go through from one to another. Uh, have They have different um, secondary weapons. Or and or specials. This guy have special. This guy I don't even special. Some okay. So some of them don't actually have. Th th these two don't actually have specials at all. But they all do have secondary weapons. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna start with this guy. Here we are. Um, and in the upper right corner, you can see the little mini map of the area. Again, very much Isaac. Uh, here you have your health, which starts at pretty low at six. I think it somehow increases later on because I I went to level four, which is total of five and um it was at like 27 or 28 at that point i'm not sure how i got there uh then this is your shields like spirit hearts so heart spirit hearts think of it that way experience you can uh, pick up health shards and then they turn into real health i think uh pickups then this is the keys uh money your level what floor your own primary weapon this is our primary weapon secondary weapon this is our secondary weapon uh, missiles are like bombs in in Isaac, and that's it. That's that's how it works. If you if there's enemies in the room with you, the doors will be locked, like now. So I have to kill this guy first. Um, there's probably more of them since the doors do not lock. We have a little key here we can pick up. This is a teleport. Um, where is the guy? Where's the enemy? Oh, there they are. I guess that's them. Ooh. Oh yeah, that was actual enemy as well. Cool. Uh, the bombs detonate as uh, as that happens, and we can continue our journey this way. You can go. Oh yeah, there's an interesting mechanic where you can so you can sprint. Not really sprinting. This is like infinite. You can't. You can just be doing very fast movement with the shift, or you can just do slow one, where, and it's useful when you're trying to go over obstacles. Now this is a locked door, and it leads to health upgrade storage. Um, I don't think we have enough money to upgrade anything. Um, we can peek inside and make sure that is the case. So how much do we need? Oh no, you just pick it up. Increase max health by four at the expense of storage space for two missiles. That's fine. 
we can increase the storage space for uh, missiles later on. So we immediately have 10 health. So that's pretty cool. Um, energy uh, of your secondary, uh, which starts pretty low at like two shots, I think. Uh, but when you go through the door, it recharges. So does your shield. Um, so the, the you know the, the spirit heart, spirit heart equivalent also does a bit of a recharge. Ooh, it's getting rough here. Can I go through here? Yeah. Did I kill them? Oh, that was surprising. No, there's one more. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Ow. No, I didn't get hurt. Okay. That's cool. Right, so we came from... Ah, uh, door to... There's a shop here. Let's pick up all the money first, and then we go, can go to the shop. I'm probably going to show you, like, this one, maybe another mech. Um, show a boss fight. And this is going to be... This is going to be the end and the beginning of this video. Uh, so we don't need that health. We're full. There's a lot of health here. Wow. Very, very generous room. So what is this? Uh, oh, I can change my Guardian Blaster to a Guardian Blaster. Now, isn't that a very enticing proposition? I'm not going go to go do that. All right. Oh, this was the hub where we started. Hello. Another room full of enemies. Hey, buddy. Don't shoot me. Cool. Ow. Right. So this is a free chest. You don't have to use a key. And inside was three coins. All right. Oh, uh, there's a, something here. Uh, another three coins. Another pickup. Nope. Okay. So we can uh, enter this room here. Uh, see, this chest is behind uh, barriers, but this is the kind of barrier you can uh, use your missile on, and then you can see what's in there. And there's more missiles. So that was that was good. That was a good bargain there. Is this a real thing? No. Oh boy. Ooh. These guys are... There's a lot of them here. The problem uh, with the flamethrower is that it blocks your vision. You can't really see what the hell's going on. Ow. Okay. This guy's a bit... A bit more determined to kill me. I'm trying to approach him somehow. Where is he again? Oh, there he is. Oh, I don't have... Ah, shit. I just walked into that. There we go, he's dead. Cool, any pickups here? Yeah, sometimes you get stuck on the furniture as well. Uh, there's another... We don't have a key for that. And what is this? A shop. Uh, more capacity for missiles. See, like I said, we can just do that. Uh, we could get a health shard. Um, no. I'm gonna. I don't want to. I'm not gonna buy a health shard. You can also convert your money into experience uh, over that counter over there. Uh, what is this? Oh, this is just pure experience. Okay, I'm just gonna buy the missile capacity. Uh, this will probably become instrumental soon enough. And let's check out this door here. See, this is somewhat, somewhat annoying. Like that, you can like do this. You can. You're walking into the wall and sliding. I really don't like when that happens, but it's not the worst thing in the world. It's okay. All right, here we go. That was quick. I kind of like this flamethrower guy. He's fun. All right, so the door unlocked. So it's, oh, what is this? The IRS X circuit uh, steals credits. Okay. Oh, this is a consumable. Um, I'm not sure when exactly to use consumables. So if I were to just use it now. Oh, does it maybe attract money? All right, let's go into a room and see how that works out. I think we need to go here now uh, and sort of trace back a little bit. Yeah, we don't really need all this health, unfortunately. Or fortunately, I don't know. Okay, so can I just, just kill this guy first? So will I just steal money here? Oh, it stole, it ate my own money and gave me, recharged my stuff is that what it does all right i think but i'm not entirely sure i can't walk here what is the point of this wait 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 wait. how do i get out of here is this something i can blow up no oh the direction is set okay i see i see how it is 
Let's explode this thing. Just for fun. Right, so we need to wait for these flamethrowers to, or whatever this is, to go away. Then we need to get here. As soon as we can. So not get hit by that thing. We don't have a key. So there's nothing we can do about that. Let's explode this thing for whatever reason. And the next enemy is, I guess, down here. Oh, here it comes. The music in the game isn't, like, something I would listen to, you know, in my free time. But I think it fits the purpose, if that makes sense. And we leveled up, and I can show you how level up works. So you just press E, and then you choose um, out of three. So this is, I guess, the similarity with Nuclear Throne. Other than that, it's, it's essentially Space Isaac um, with a bit of sort of top-down arcade shoot him up bullet hell thing. Um, we can increase max health, increase max energy. I'll do 20% more damage. Um, let's do 20% more damage. And we don't have any keys like we already pointed out, so we can't really do anything about this. We need to... Ah, uh, yeah, this thing's... Ow, I just took damage from that. Ow! Okay, we should stop doing that. Um, this door. That leads to the next door. Oh, hello. There's a party going on! Okay, I got died. Get the coins. So the consumable you can do once, I guess. It is actually just consumed. As the name would suggest. Okay, that guy's dead. Let's clear out these dudes. Uh, we have a guy here. It's good that they're locked in. Ow. Come on, guys. There we go. So, that's the boss room up there. Uh, there's no mini boss room on this level, I guess. So, we just... Oh, wait. Someone's alive? No. It's weird. I think this is a glitch. So, let's fight the boss, then. We got a lot of... We got a wall master. I think I tried to kill this guy once, and I died. But, here we go. How, how bad is his... Ow. So... Trick with this oh wow, this guy is pretty pretty good at what he's doing. I'm just gonna spam rockets. Oh we did it! I had to spam a lot of rockets, but we did it. And railgun module increases main gun bullet speed and range. Adds extra shots, yes, please. Oh cool, look at that. This is this is much better. So there you go, this oh almost stepped into that. This is the main boss thing, and then there's an exit out of here. So we got our health back, um, and that takes you to the next level. This is essentially how the game works. The first level is obviously a bit shorter. Uh, as you go deeper into this, towards the sun, um, you will get uh, bigger and bigger levels and more enemies, and it becomes more difficult, etc. But you can play around again uh, with your difficulty settings and uh, mitigate that. So let's say we continue. Uh, in the beginning of every level, starting from the second one, you can pick up a um, uh, sort of like a challenge. So this is collect all health shards before entering the next floor for a bonus. Um, I don't know if there is a downside to picking this up. Um, oh, so that's a pretty good bonus. Three key cards. Um, so if you don't do it, is it does it like take anything away? Um, but yeah, that's that's the buff you would get if you if you follow the instructions there. Um, let's probably try to uh, get a um, different Mac, and I'll show you how a different Mac works. Oh, you can change. You can even change the main main gun for something else as well. I quite like the incinerator, to be honest. Even though that is probably a little bit better. But let's stop this one here. And I press something different, but let's press escape. So if you press escape, we, uh, you can also see all the stuff you are currently carrying, all the buffs you got, um, and your how your current run is going. Um, but what we're going to do, we're going to exit the game. And I think what we also can do is just uh, back to the file select and select a new file. Um, yes, okay, that's cool. 
And we are in the tutorial, which I don't want to do. So I'm gonna exit game and start a new run with this uh, with this new guy, uh, with the new file. So you can have six files because we live in the 21st century and that is the current uh, government limit. Um, time manipulation guy, let's, let's take this guy. Time only moves when you move. Oh, so this is essentially like um, uh, super hot. No, is it super hot? You know the game where you time only moves when you move? Like, like that game? Yeah, that one. <laughs> so let's try it. Uh, so we can see a different mag. Um, primary weapon. Okay, sort of like a machine gun type thing. Secondary. Oh, wow, that's cool. This is really cool. I like this. Okay. Uh, he's a bit slow moving, isn't he? I think. And has low health and no shields. Is that correct? That's interesting. Okay, cool. Ow. <laughs> this is like a turn-based game suddenly. Okay, I can spam this though, this is pretty cool. Uh, okay, not anymore. I can't spawn this anymore. Alright. Yeah, his, uh, his main weapon isn't very good. Uh, that's that's very interesting though. That's an interesting approach. Kind of slow. It just slows down the tempo of the game very much. Uh, by the way, the um, is this Skyward Rogue that we're playing? I think. <laughs> Sorry, just a very generic title. Uh, it comes also with the modding support, so and encourages people to uh, mod the game to their liking. Can we actually pick this stuff up while we're like? Okay, so we got. Oh, we can't do that because we have too many rockets. Let's use them then. Ooh, okay, this guy's died immediately. Boom. Let's actually blow this thing up as well. Okay, cool. Now we could pick up the rockets. Very interesting that you can do that. Like I said, almost turns... Ah, oh, this is a thing, isn't it? Shard. Okay. We can teleport somewhere. Ah, oh, here. So we just need to kill this guy. <laughs> okay, that's that's pretty interesting. Let's you know what? Let's check out one more Mac instead uh, of continuing with this one, because um, that was that was that was quite an experience. Uh, start new run and see what this guy's special is. Beam drone, treasure hunter. What does treasure hunter do? Uh, blah blah blah. Kill weak missile launcher with every high uh, blast radius, making able to chew through more obstacles or many shots per shot or enemy shots per shot. However, more EXP is required for each level up, so more of the words better charge on. Okay, that doesn't sound that exciting. Magnetism has a magnetic missile launcher that is able to powerfully pull in enemy bullets towards it. Also has a mild repulsive hornet mine that is great for hiding behind. Let's try this guy as our last mag today. So again, has a sort of machine gun thing like the previous one. Uh, secondary is Ooh, so is this the mine or? Hmm, I guess we have to. Ooh, I just took damage from that? Interesting. So it's good to hide behind. Hmm, I don't know what that thing is. So this is just missiles, right? Okay. That was... That, this is a bit more confusing than the previous one. I don't want the coins, I just want to see the mechanics of this. You know, it's fine, I don't care about the damage, I just want to go through. Okay, that's not the last one? Oh, there's another one here. Alright. So is that the mine? What is is this the mine? So I can hide behind this thing and shoot them? Is that what's going on? Uh, 
Okay, yeah, that's the mine. Right, so if they charge me... But the special thing, I'm not even sure what that is then. Uh, or how to activate it. So maybe I just don't know something about how this all, all this works. I can't put that down. So we need to, you need to, you'll need to like increase the energy quite a bit to actually be able to effectively use the, the, the mine thing. Okay. Well, the previous one was a bit more interesting than this one. Uh, we may, it, may, it may be that I, I just don't know how to uh, use that the other thing, the other special, which is the main one. It doesn't even appear here, does it? This is the basic meaning of repulsive hornet mine. So this is the mine. Oh no, this is it's okay. No, this is what it is. The your normal missiles are what are actually doing this. Okay. Let's let's try that. Do I have to go through his this is there anyone gonna be even here? I don't even have a key, so it's not an option. Alright, let's go back. Oh god, the going back is gonna be through that minefield. Alright, bear with me. Let's try if this missile thing works. Ah, I don't care. Alright. What was this? Um, yeah, sure, whatever. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, it does! That's pretty cool. That's interesting. It's slightly harder to use, I think. Oh, I'm and I'm <laughs> I'm out of missiles after all this testing. So this thing repulses the bullets, and you can hide behind. And if anyone charges you, it explodes and kills them. Right. Okay. So I got it. This is sort of like ah, take my magnetic missile. I'm hiding behind a mine, kind of mech, which is probably something very obvious to say. So. I think this will this will do us today um, uh, for uh, the Skyward, bro. I'm I'm not even kidding. I am genuinely I forgot what what is it called? Starward, not Skyward. Starward Rogue. I, I somehow I want to say Skyward. Anyway, Starward because it's in a star. You're going towards a star. So Starward Rogue, get it? Yeah, this is it. it it's again a pretty straightforward Isaac clone in space. Um, the only thing, like, and then I'm kind of fine with that uh, once more. The probably something that, what well, the thing that bothers me about this game the most, and again, I'm not saying it's it's bad. It does the job, and it, as far as I can tell, people are super happy with it. Um, is the art, which is almost like placeholder, I, and it's like something from 1998, sort of, uh, while even though so like Nuclear Throne is super pixelated, and you can tell it came out like a few months ago, it, it feels like a modern game. This feels a bit more like something older, which isn't a bad thing, um, but the art, of, the art of the game feels a bit like a prototype than the final product. But it, it's it's a style, you know, it's it's a certain way of doing it, and um, I guess it works with someone else, and other people are super happy with it, it's just not, not something that I find super appealing. But um, on the level of its mechanics and what it's trying to be, I think it's it, it's hitting and all, all the targets. So um, it's nine pounds uh, currently, if, if you're buying that in Britain, or I guess whatever equivalent in your currency, which is, like almost half price of nuclear stone. I actually don't know what Isaac cost this um, nowadays. I guess it's like twelve pounds. So this is nine, so it's slightly a budget version of um, budget space Isaac, which works. I guess that would be the summary of this game. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did so, please consider supporting it in any way you can. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.